Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today, we're going to have a little bit of fun testing out some armor. Let me show you what I got here. Got some, uh, what is this, RTS ceramic protection plate insert. Now this stuff is level 4. And oh yeah, do not wash your dry clean. I don't know why they put it on there, that just tickled me. But anyway, this is really thick, as you can tell. I bet, I bet nothing we got here on the table is going to go through it, but we're going to give it to old college dry. Now, first up, we got 9mm. We're using the Remington RP9 with some uh, tall ammo, 115 grain full metal jacket. And then, we got the uh, Rock Alley 1911. And out of it, we're going to be shooting this 40 cal. This is a Winchester, 155 grain, silver tip hollow point. Thing's got a lot of boogie to it. And then we have the Toka Rev. Check out that. 7.62 by 25. Uh, this is some PPU ammo. This is 85 grain, full metal jacket. And these things do have some speed to them. And then we're going to step it up a little bit. I got the FK Bruno PSD. And we have some 7.5 FK to shoot out of this. Now that is the uh, nose discarding F5. It's a 95 grain all copper. So basically this nose discards and the full metal jacket inside keeps going. And if it ain't enough... I'm going to turn the camera sideways for this one. It's so big. I brought out my BFR. This one's in 350 Legend. Rifle cartridge, as you can see. Yeah, that thing's a too much fun to shoot. And the only ammo I have for it, guys, was some Federal uh, non-typical. Now, unfortunately, I mean, this is 180 grain, but it is soft point. Yep. Yeah. Wish I had some full metal jackets for that one, but, you know, we'll shoot what we got, especially with this ammo shortage. Well, let me get this plate out there and get a second close-up camera on it as well. And we'll shoot these five and just see if it does anything to this. Alright, guys, i got it sitting there on the ground, resting against a concrete block. Because that block has more concrete inside of it, so it's pretty heavy. Hopefully I won't have to go out there and set it up every time I make a shot. And I got the close-up camera going. Y'all throw down in the comments what you think will happen. Let's shoot this thing. And we're roughly uh, 20 feet away from it. Alright, first up, 115 grain, 9 millimeter, out of our Remington. Almost forgot the close-up camera. Alright, 9 millimeter. Well, we got a good dead center shot on it. Let's go ahead and throw a 40 at it. And then we'll give it a check. Let me just grab it and bring it up here, or I'll grab the camera and go there, and we'll see if it went through and what them two calibers doing. Alright, we well, messed up that pretty black covering. Alright, 9mm on the bottom, and 40 on the top. Man, it made a splatter, didn't it? That 40 actually bulged that thing. Far out. Hey, we might get through it with one of these faster rounds. Next up are 7.62 by 25. And I'm going to check it after every shot. This little bullet right here is really fast. This is a neat little firearm. Alright. 
Well, I have to check it because I've got to set it up. Got a good head on it right there. Did not go through, but it did bulge it out some. Alright. Now, FK Bernard with 75. I think this is going to go through it. If not, it's going to bolt it pretty, pretty bad. This is a uh, pretty serious little round. If I don't miss, see, at this close, I need to aim high, I think. Oh, I hit it. Let's go check it. Did not go through it. Man, it did bulge that thing out. And you can see the material falling out the bottom. And it caused it to split. Yeah, we got some good bullets caught in there, I think. I found this one on the ground in front of it. I think that's at a 7.62 by 25. Yeah, it's still warm. Oh, that's cool. Alright, now. It's been a while since I've had this one out. Let's see what this 350 legend will do to it. Even though it's a soft point, it should still uh, let it know that it's been hit by something, that's for sure. Alright, got a dot on this one, so surely I shouldn't miss it. Yeah, baby. I like this thing. All right, I'm going to run up there and get it and bring it up here. And we'll take a look at that. Well, guys, I'm very impressed. Nothing went through it. I mean, it destroyed it. But it's just a very small plate, too. I did find whatever round this was fell out of it. Flatter than a pancake. Let's get it up here on the table in the sunlight and get a better look at it. Oh, yeah, now we get a better look at it. And you can just see that ammo just tore that thing all to pieces. But, even though it did split it out, nothing came through the other side. I am really, really impressed. Uh, let's see if we can open it up a little bit and get some of these bullets out. Comes open easy, that's for sure. <laughs> this is all of our entrances here. I may have lost most of that ammo when I picked it up. The ammo just went to crap when it went through. That's what the ceramic plating looks like. Yeah, it's pretty neat stuff, ain't it? Yeah, it just, uh, apparently I lost in bullets. I don't see them caught up in here. They must have come out the bottom or flew out the side. But there's what the uh, back looks like. So yeah, I mean, uh, even though it bolted it and it split it in half, it still done its job and it stopped them. Well, everyone, there you have that. I mean, that little plate, it really impressed me. I know it says level four on it. It's a small plate. And I figured... Uh, Maybe the 762 by 25 would get through because of its speed, uh, but it didn't. The FK Brunel, no. 350 Legend, no. That really surprised me because everything I got out here, uh, with the exception of the basic 9mm, was still, I don't want to be shot by one. All of these are a bunch of good rounds, and uh, yeah, they've done a really good job on that, but the plate done what it was supposed to do. That was cool, and that was fun to shoot. Well, everyone, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would, throw me down some comments, questions, suggestions. Always appreciate it. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, 
Thanks for everything, and until the next one, I hope that all of y'all have a fantastic day.